In the previous tutorial, we explained what is Schmidt trigger and how it works using operational amplifiers. Now, in this tutorial, we will explain the transistor based Schmidt trigger. The circuit contains two transistors and six resistors. For better explanation, I will assign values to the components and later I will make a demonstration and build this circuit on a protoboard to see how it really works. We will start like this. Let's suppose that the V-in input is uh, 0 volts. That means that the transistor T1 is cut off and not conducting. On the other hand, the transistor T2 is conducting because we have a voltage of about 1.98 volts at the B node. As we can consider this part of the circuit as a voltage divider and calculate the voltage using these expressions. So because the transistor T2 is conducting, the output voltage will be low and the voltage at the emitter will be about 0.7 volts lower than the voltage at the base of the transistor or that's about 1.28 volts. The emitter of the transistor T1 is connected with the emitter of the transistor T2. So they are at the same voltage level of 1.28 volts, which means that the transistor T1 will turn on when the voltage V in at its base will be 0.7 volts above this value of 1.28 volts, or that's about 1.98 volts. So as we increase the V in input and we cross this value of 1.98 uh, volts, the transistor T1 will start conducting. This will cause the voltage at the base of the transistor T2 to drop and will cut the transistor off. As the transistor T2 is no longer conducting, the output voltage will go high. Next, the voltage V in at the base of the transistor T1 will start declining and it will turn the transistor off when the base voltage will be 0.7 volts above the voltage of its emitter. This will happen as the current in the emitter will decline to a point where the transistor will get into forward active mode. In this mode, the collector voltage will increase which will also increase the voltage at the base of the transistor T2. This will cause small amount of current to flow through the transistor T2, which will further drop the voltage at the emitters and will cause the transistor T1 to turn off. In our case, the V in input needs to drop to about 1.3 volts to turn off the transistor T1. That's it, now the cycle repeats over and over again. So we go to thresholds, the high threshold is at about 1.9 volts and the low threshold is at about 1.3 volts. Here's a demonstration of the Schmidt trigger circuit on a protoboard. The input voltage comes from the potentiometer and the output is connected to the LED. So as we increase the input voltage, we can see that the LED will turn on at about 1.9 volts or uh, 1.8 volts in our case. Now for turning off the LED, we have to decrease the input voltage to the lower threshold at about 1.3 volts. Thanks for watching and for more tutorials visit my official website howtomechatronics.com